Now listen, hang on. What about, I mean, this is very serious, and again, Pauline Hanson's gone on about this. You won't hear this from government. Mark Latham's talked about it here. He's the leader of One Nation in New South Wales. What about those shut out of their jobs by COVID vaccine mandates? Now, it was announced last week, you've made this point, the staff working in private health facilities in Queensland were no longer required to be vaccinated. So if it's okay for health workers, why not for everyone, including teachers? What is happening to teachers in Queensland? Exactly right. They should be allowed to work. Anyone should be allowed to work if they want to work, regardless of whether they've had the vaccine or not. Here we have cleaners who can't work because their companies are saying, you must have the vaccination. They work by themselves, truck drivers, other people in, in organisations, council workers. These people, even councils, are forcing them to have the vaccination against their human rights. And doctors have lost their jobs and can't work in organisations or That's by themselves true. because they're not vaccinated. The whole thing is so wrong. Mm. It's been forced on us by governments, by um, politicians and academic bureaucrats who are pushing Correct. their own agenda, which yeah. I think stinks. It does. But you know, the, Pauline Hanson is 100% right here. I understand it, Pauline, you're the Queensland Senator, that Queensland teachers are being docked up to 18 weeks pay as a disciplinary Correct. measure for not being vaccinated. What country are we in? Well, that's right. I actually, at the moment, I'm reading a book about what happened in Russia in 1917 and uh, communism took over and what happened in um, East Germany as well. So it's controlled by the people, by the governments, and that, that's exactly yes. what's happening in this country. Yes. And people must understand it it's slowly control of the people mm -hmm. by the governments and telling you how to live your yes. lives and what to do. Yeah. Unless people start standing up and voicing their opinions, you're going to lose your freedom of speech, you're going to lose your democracy. That's Correct. And we're going to be taken over by these bureaucrats who have no idea and who want to control people's you know, lives. I mean, I'm that, that, opposed to it. That's what Pauline is saying. I've got to repeat, in Queensland, it seems as though they've taken every step to isolate, segregate and punish non-compliant teachers. That is, they're not vaccinated. They're the enemies of the state. Now, many of these teachers have lost everything as a result of these mandates. I mean... Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me or get in touch with Pauline. Pauline, I understand that Catholic education, Catholic education did not allow dissenting teachers to return to work. I think it just sacked them. I mean, I, I know of individual priests and nuns and charity workers coerced into compliance and the few who stood their ground were excluded mercilessly. So a teacher decides not to be vaccinated, vaccination does not come with zero risk and it can't be proven safe and effective. So why can't someone, Pauline, rationally, their own choice, weigh up the risks and rewards for themselves? That's right. Alan, what I'm working on now is a private member's bill to present on the floor of Parliament, hopefully not this sitting, but it'd be the next sitting of Parliament, that it uh, states that companies or businesses cannot impose mandatory vaccination on its workers. It's against the, the it will be against the law. Hopefully, common sense will prevail in this place that they have no right to force people to have a medical procedure that, under the Constitution, it states it's not allowed. Fifty one, section fifty one, twenty three. A of our constitution says that the federal government cannot oppose, you know, people to have medical procedures yes, against the will. Even doctors should not be forced to give this to, to people um, without asking them, are you giving this, having this of your own free will? And the other question is, if they're being coerced or bullied yeah. to have it yeah. due to keeping their job, yeah. it is illegal. They so, cannot do it. 